Hello, welcome. My name is Cameron Stewart. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SolarEdge. And today we're gonna to wire a SolarEdge load controller to a three pole contactor with a 120 volt coil. Now, the reason we're using a three pole contactor is because when you get above 60 amps, uh, the two pole contactors get kind of expensive and this is a more cost effective solution. So you can use a three pole contactor in a two pole application and just abandon this, uh, the last, this last pole and that's exactly what we are going to do. So uh, first things first, when we get our load controller mounted into the box and our contactor mounted into the box, we are gonna open up our load controller by using our screwdriver to open up these tabs and then lifting gently up on the cover of the load controller. Let's look a little bit at the anatomy of the two devices. The power supply of the load controller is on this side, and it is identified by line one and line two, and the control side of the load controller is on this side, and it's identified by channel one, channel two, normally open and common, normally open, common, and closed. For the contactor of this size and type, we can see that the supply side is line one, line two, line three, and then the load side is T1, T2, T3. Now coils are usually labeled A1 and A2, and this contactor is unique because the coils are on the bottom here. So we're gonna use the spade connectors on the top for our power supply, and the spade connectors on the bottom going in a different orientation for the coil control. All right, so let's wire this up. So very simply, we're gonna go from line one to line one and from line two to line two using the spade connectors that I've already crimped onto these wires for my ease and convenience. So I'm just gonna do line two first and to push the conductor into the compression spring, you push down on the slot Get your wire bent and into place, and I'm going to land right here on line two. Rinse and repeat with line one. Push down, manage my wire. Okay. So now we have line one and line two connected on the power supply of the load controller and the power supply, the supply side of the contactor. So now let's go ahead and do the control side. So we're gonna go common to the line one and we're gonna go normally open to coil. So the coil is gonna be on the bottom here. Now, normally open is the condition of the coil. So that's how you remember, like when I want to control the coil, it's gonna be either normally open or normally closed. And that's what I want the load controller to remember. So let's do our normally open first. I'm gonna use a white wire because this is a 120 volt coil and I'm gonna run a neutral to my coil. And we're gonna land here at the bottom into the A1 position. Come on, I'm gonna give you a little spin so you can see. You can see that's landed on the bottom here on the A1 position, the coil. And then we're gonna go common to line one. Common to line one. Great. When all your wiring's done with the load controller, you can use your Phillips blade screwdriver and close up these strain reliefs. Okay, so now we're gonna wire from the load side to our load. And so I'm just gonna do line one and line two. You know, you never switch the neutral, so that's why you don't see me adding a neutral here. Okay, and now we're gonna go from the breaker to the supply side of the contactor. Okay. 
Great. And then the last thing, because this is a 120 volt coil, we're gonna go from the neutral to the coil. Great. A little wire management, okay. So we can see that we're going from the coil, from the neutral to the coil on the bottom here. We have our power supply done on line one and line two, and then this goes to our load on line one and line two. And that is how you wire a three-pole contactor to a Solar Edge load controller. Thank you.